specific locations under consideration may include this area you see behind me. This is near J.E. Dunn's headquarters. It's called the East Village, and you can see there's some open space here. The area near the Kansas City Stars production building at 16th and Oak also may be an attractive site. There's also talk about putting the stadium near the 18th and Vine Entertainment District. You know, some people like the idea of seeing the downtown skyline from the new stadium's outfield, and that makes the north loop of downtown building across Interstate 70 another possible consideration. You know, all of these options are good news for downtown Kansas City, which expects free public transit to make it a lot easier for fans to get to the games. The ballpark itself, uh, in an urban context, um, in those 81 dates, uh, you know, you're talking another two to three million people a year who are in your downtown. You know, downtown has lots of unique assets that build off each other. Uh, T-Mobile Center, uh, the new current stadium going in on the riverfront, uh, uh, Kauffman Center for Performing Arts. So there's energy between them, um, and we know it will be a catalytic project that will spin off secondary economic investment in our city. Now here's another interesting fact for you, Pat and Kristen. Dietrich says there are 67,000 parking spaces here in downtown Kansas City. The downtown council says it needs to do a better job of showing people where they are and how to use them. And downtown Kansas City, we know, continues to grow. It's been on a growth spurt in recent years. There are now 36,000 people who call downtown home. And Dietrich says if downtown were its own city, it would be the 11th largest in the metro area.